श्रीमान वेंकटनाथार्य कवितार्किकेसरी वेदाताचार्य वर्यो मे सन्निधत्ता सदा हृदय रामजदयापात्र ज्ञान वैराग्यभूषण श्रीमद्वेकटनाथार्य वंदे वेदाशिक सीरोंतुपुलवेकटमुयान पारोंच्चन्न पड़मु ओरोंताने अमयादो धारणीवाक वानेर पोमु Our Bharat Desham has seen a galaxy of poets and preceptors who live even today through their works and teachings. One among them, who was a peerless poet and philosopher, a polyglot, a lesser-known mathematician, and a person adept in all skills, was Swami Vedanta Deshika, a polymath of the 13th century. Here is a brief overview of his life and works. Swami Deshika was born to Ananta Suri and Tota Ramba in the year 1268 in the Bhadrapada or Purattasi month and the Shravanam or Tiruvonam nakshatram. He was born in a small hamlet near Kanchipuram called Tuppul or Tiruttanka one of the 108 Divya Deshams. If you go to the temple of Lord Venkateshwara or Balaji in Tirupati You will notice that the small aradhana ghanta or bell is not rung. This is because it is believed that the ghanta of Lord Venkateshwara was incarnated as Swami Deshika. He himself states this in one of his works Sankalpa Suryodayam. Due to this connection with Lord Venkateshwara, he was named Venkatanatha. He was trained in the Vedas and allied shastras from a tender age by his maternal uncle Kidambi Appullar who came in the lineage of Kidambi Achan prime disciple and cook for Bhagavad Ramanuja He was married to Kanakavalli or Tirumanga and later they had a son called Kumara Varada Swami Deshika visited and lived in several Divya Deshams Tiruvahindrapuram, Tirukkovalur, Srivilliputtur and Kanchipuram which was his birthplace. He spent the later years of his life in Sri Rangam and in Satyagalam near Kollegal in Karnataka. He spent his last few years in Sri Rangam. Swami Deshika has given us a plethora of works. You have Sanskritam stotras like Hayagriva stotram, Shri stuti, Gopala vimshati, Raghuvira gadyam, Garuda dandakam, Goda stuti, Kama sikashtakam, to name a few. Some of his prabandhams in Tamil include Adai kalapath, Meiviratha manmiyam, Munmani kovai, Navamani malai, and Tiruchinna malai. Swami Deshika also composed in languages like Prakritam for example Achuya Shayayam in praise of Lord Devanatha of Tiruvahindrapuram Swami Deshika sang the praises of Lord Devanatha in Sanskritam Devanayaka Panchashat Tamil Mummani Kovai Navamani Malai and Prakritam which is Achuya Shayayam He excelled in poetry and the Divya Dampati of Sri Rangam Sri Ranganatha and Sri Ranganayaki bestowed upon him the title kavitarkika simham or the line among poets his poetic works include hamsa sandesham a work based on shrimad ramayanam yadava abhyudayam about the life of shri krishna and shri ranganatha paduka sahasram on the divine padukas or sandals of lord ranganatha Swami Deshika was a great philosopher in the footsteps of Sri Ramanujacharya. He brought out the quintessence of the Vishishtadvaita philosophy in an allegorical play Sankalpa Suryodayam. Shri Mad Rahasya Trayasaram is a theological treatise written by him. He wrote Paramata Bhangam and Shatadushani pointing out the flaws in other religious and philosophical schools that existed during that time when the adhyayanotsavam in shri rangam which was meant to recite the divya prabandhams of the arvars was stopped 
Swami Deshika made a case for the Arvars and their Pasurams in Tamil and was instrumental in resuming the Adhyayanotsavam. He composed two commentaries, Dramidopanishad Tatparya Ratnavali on Swami Nammarvars Tiruvaimuri and Munivahana Bhogam on Tiruppan Arvars Amalanadi Piran. In the year 1321, Sri Rangam saw its second invasion by Muhammad bin Tughlaq or Ulluq Khan. It was a heartbreaking attack on Sri Rangam, leading to the loss of several thousands of lives and the temple was plundered brutally. Swami Deshika too had to flee Sri Rangam. He slept between the corpses to safeguard the manuscript of Shruta Prakashika which is a commentary to Ramanujacharya's Shri Bhashyam. He sought refuge in Satyagalam near Kollegal in Karnataka. He wrote to Kumara Kampanna, the eldest son of Bukkar I, the emperor of Vijayanagara, who fought against the Turushkas and worked to bring back the glory to Sri Rangam. Deshika lived till 1369 till the age of 101. In his lifetime, he was a recipient of several titles such as Kavitar Kikasimham, Vedanta Acharya and Sarvatantra Swatantra. Yet, he remained humble and had displeasure in worldly objects. Indeed, he had knowledge and dispassion as his ornaments, Jnana Vairagya Bhushanam. His son Kumara Varada Acharya, Kumara Varadacharya's disciple Prativadi Bhayankaram Annan, who wrote the famous Venkateshwara Suprabhatam, Arasani Palayam Venkatadhvari Kavi, Doddayacharya of Chola Simhapuram, Kandadai Manappanagar Swami, and Tirukkudande Desikan composed verses in praise of Swami Deshika. His teachings live today as the Desika Sampradayam, and his works are studied, researched, rendered, and taught even today. Indeed, Swami Vedanta Deshika is one of the greatest Acharyas to have been born in Bharatam. Vede Sanjata Khede Munijana Vachane Prapta Nitya Avamane Sankirane Sarvavarne Saditadanugune Nishpramane Purane Maya vade samode kalikalusha vashat shunya vade vivade dharmatranaya yobhut sajayatu bhagavan vishnu ghanta vataraha kavitarkika simhaya kalyana gunashaline shrimate venkateshaya vedanta gurave namaha namaskaram